lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello everyone! Are you having a lovely day? Yes. How can you not? You're in the Royal Kingdom. It's so lovely to have you. Thank you very much for coming up to say hello to us. My name is Lady Lily and it is lovely to see you all here. And there are many things we love to do in the Royal Kingdom. We love to make crowns and colour and dance and curtsy and bow. But we most love to tell stories. Would you like to hear a story? Yeah. Oh, you are so lucky because I have the most beautiful princess right around the corner. Who wants to meet her? Oh, Anyone? I do. You do? Okay, I'm going to bring her out just for you. Are you ready? Put your hands together and please welcome the princess who's loved Transform the Beast, Belle! Can you all royal wave like this? Royal wave! Hello, Hello. 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 Oh, so lovely. Hello, lady. You look so lovely. Well, thank you and so do you. It is such an honor to have you here. Yes, thank you. Hello, everyone. Are you all here for story time? Yes, they are. Oh, I just love books and stories. What are some of your favorite stories? Anyone Do you have, have any favorites? You can just shout it out. What's your favorite story? Cinderella. That's, That's a, a great one. one. Does anyone else have any favorite stories? What's your favorite? My story? <gasps> that works out well. Do you think that we should tell my story? Why not? <laughs> My goodness, what a great idea. Will you help us? I think that would be great. Oh, I would be honored and I'll get them to help you as well. Well, I think I'll tell you a true story. A story about something that happened to me. All of my favorite stories begin with four special words. Do you know what they are? Once upon a time. Can we all say that together? Ready? Once upon a time. I was walking along, captivated by one of my favorite stories. All of a sudden, I heard... Everyone gallop! Gallop, gallop, gallop! That sound was the galloping of my father's horse asleep. My father left earlier that morning to walk to the fair, but Philippe had returned alone. My father was no longer in the saddle. Wait, where's Papa? Is he in some kind of trouble? Oh, and Philippe nodded. Yes! Take me to him. All right, fast, fast, everyone, fast! Philippe took me galloping off into the forest. Faster, Philippe, faster! Grew into the forest, very, very dark around around us. And then we began to Slow down, and we came to a clearing where we saw <gasps> an enchanting castle rising out of a mist. We'd never seen this castle before, we didn't know who lived there. So I told Philippe to wait outside, and I snuck into the castle to find my father. I tiptoed down the hallways. I looked high and low. Suddenly I came to a spiral staircase that led to the top of the tower, and that's where I found my papa, huddled in a cold, dark dungeon. Papa! Oh, Belle, my darling! You must get out of here! Oh, I can't leave you. Certainly. That was a big talk shadow about her. Do you all know who it was? Can we say the beast? Ready? The beast! That's right. It was a big, strange looking beast. So I was so frightened. But I knew it was he that could set my father free. So I begged him, please, please let Papa go. That beast refused, didn't he, Pumpkin? Let's all say no in our best beast voice. Ready? No! Then I had my beast. Father goes. The beast agreed, and my father was set free. Bye, Father. Say bye, Belle. Can you say bye? Good job. I will live in the castle forever and never go home again. Late that night, I tiptoed out of my room. I wanted to explore the rest of the castle. And I learned it was a very enchanting place. There was a talking candlestick named. Does anyone know his name? Shout it out. Yeah. What's his name? Lumiere, yes. The talking clock named Sinais. Does anyone know? Hogsbury, yes. Oh, and a little teacup named Chet. A little chip, wonderful. Oh, and a sweet, motherly sort of teapot who calls herself Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts, yes. That's right, and she said, oh, it'll turn out all right in the end. You'll see. They asked me if there was anything they could do to make me feel more comfortable. I had to admit. I was a little hungry. <gasps> Did you hear that? She's so hungry. Well, stop the fire, wait the silver, and let's break out the china. And as for my very eyes, stands the most wonderful dinner I've ever seen. Not only with all the food delicious, with all the forks and knives and spoons and plates and napkins, all danced and sang as 
Sunday evening by Mark Skinton. Okay, we're gonna do a kid kind of let's entertain Belle. Ready? Be ah, uh, here we go. Yes, be our guest, but our service to the sea. We need up, we want the company of friends. She stretched out. <laughs> We've got a lot to do. Is it one lock or two? For you, our guest, be our guest, be our guest. More cheese? Cheese is good, huh? Alright, I want everyone to think of their favorite food. Okay, thank you. Close your eyes. Alright, on the count of three, I want everyone to shout it out as loud as they can. Ready? One, <coughs> three. Oh my goodness, we had all of that food. It was so good. Now, for meal that big, I was very full, but also very curious. Good job. Have a lovely time in the magical season. 